Today's topic is about ideas. Figuring out whether ideas are good ideas or bad ideas. If you've got five minutes, I've got five tips to help you figure that out. I've talked about ideas before in this series, uh, but we haven't talked about it for a while. And every project, every writing project that you have begins with an idea. It doesn't matter whether you're writing a book or a magazine article or even a blog piece. It starts with an idea. And you're going to have lots of ideas if you're a writer and if you're going to have a writing career. But all of those ideas are not going to come to fruition. Not every one of them is actually a good idea. And you need to have a way to figure out whether or not that great list of ideas that you have in your notebook is good or not. So how do you figure out if one of your ideas is good or not? Well, it's not always easy. You've probably already had the experience of telling someone about the idea that you have and that person says to you, wow, that's a great idea. Well, now it may be a great idea, but it may not be a great idea. And just because your friend or your relative or your colleague says it's a great idea doesn't make it so. You're going to need something more than just that kind of feedback. So I have five tips to help you decide. Tip number one, if it's an idea based on your personal angst, it's not a good idea. What this is a good idea for is for you to buy yourself a for your eyes only notebook Write down all the things about your angst, put it in that notebook, and never publish it. I guess I'm just wishing that Prince Harry had taken this piece of advice. The problem with an idea that's based strictly on your personal angst is that you will never have a clear-eyed notion of what that idea is all about, and you will not be able to have a clear-eyed view of it in order to relate it to other people. I think it's important also to say that there are already an awful lot of books out there that are no more than people venting. And there's too many of those around. Find a new idea. Tip number two, it's not a good idea if someone told you you should write a book about it. This one may actually be worse than writing a book about your personal angst because you should never write a book or an article or anything else for that matter about a subject about which you are not passionate. And if somebody suggests it to you, unless that resonates with you individually, and you already had that kind of an idea and it's just a reflection of your idea, it's probably not a good idea to pursue. Writing something that's based on someone else's idea is probably not going to be enough to keep you impassioned about it throughout a long project in particular. Tip number three, you used a writing prompt about something that you're not really interested in. This is not a good idea. I've talked about writing prompts before, and in my view, writing prompts are very useful, but mostly for writing practice. If, however, you find a writing prompt somewhere that's related to an idea that you already have, and it allows you to write about it and see something in a different way, then it, what it's allowing you to do is to take a raw idea and move it forward. That's a different thing altogether, but finding your idea strictly from a writing prompt about something you're not interested in is not a good idea. Tip number four, if it doesn't offer the readers anything new, even if your idea has not been done to death, if you're not taking a new view on it, then you're not offering a reader anything new, then it's not a good idea. If you could figure out what it is that you can add to it that would, or a different way of looking at something that will offer something new, then maybe it would be a good idea. As far as I'm concerned, this is especially true in nonfiction. You need to offer something new to the readers. Fiction writers would often say, well, whatever I write is new. Well, that may or may not be true. Because there are many, many reviews around and many agents and many editors who are saying that they're reading manuscripts that are derivative, that have been done before, that have been done to death. And even if it's fiction and you think it's your own idea, it doesn't necessarily make it new. Try to find something new innovative or a new way of looking at something. Tip number five, if you want to write a book and you had to look at a list of book ideas online, it's not a good idea. 
If you have to search for an idea, that idea is not a good idea for you. It might be a good idea for someone else, but it's not for you. The idea should come from your spark, your idea, your passions, the things that you want to be, you want to write about. If you're interested in them, you're going to continue with that project and see it through to the end. And finally, it's always good to remember that a raw idea is not a good idea either. I like to think of ideas as a bit like a, a lovely stew, bœuf bourguignon or uh, spaghetti sauce. You put the raw ingredients in, you add more ingredients, you add a little spice, you simmer it for a long period of time, and then finally you come out at the end with your wonderful sauce or your terrific idea for a writing project. Well, that's it for today. Happy writing. Subscribe to Write, Fix, Repeat. And maybe I can help you improve your writing knowledge and skills. Five tips at a time.